Roma. What is up guys, Julian Nickel here of Social Vignerons. Welcome back to another wine video. This is episode seven of Julian's three and a half minute wine school. This is a series where I am sharing everything that I know about wine. For those of you who are new to this channel, know that I'm a French qualified winemaker from France, turned award-winning wine blogger with my website socialvignerons.com. Essentially, I've been spending the past 20 years making fine wine, writing about wine and studying wine. So here I intend to share everything that I know. So step by step, minute by minute, you can too become a wine expert soon. So today we are going to be looking at an aspect of wine that many wonder about around the appearance of wine. And if you're new here, I made a video about why it's important to have a look at your wine before you taste it to enjoy it a little bit better. I'll link to this video right here. So when you are looking at your wine before you swallow it, so this essentially prepares you to mentally to what you are going to be tasting. So you get a better feel for what you are going to be tasting. Is it going to be sweet? Is it going to be acidic? Is it going to be high in alcohol? Is it going to be tannic? This is what you want to learn from looking at your wine. If you look at your wine before tasting, and if you swirl your wine, I made a video about why you should swirl your wine absolutely before tasting. If you swirl your wine properly, you are going to be noticing that wine has some legs. Uh, you can probably not see them very well here. Essentially, every wine is going to have some legs. This is true for white wine, for rosé wines, but this is also going to be true for red wines. And it is particularly going to be true for high alcohol and sweet wine. So I've got a sweet wine here from Sauterne. This is a sweet Potretis wine from the Bordeaux area. So very sweet, relatively high alcohol. And you not sure you can see them, but there are quite a few legs on these. So where do legs come from in wine? So some people are going to try to summarize or simplify things for you, telling you that legs are due to, some will say, alcohol. The alcohol percentage of wine, the more alcohol, the more legs the wine is going to have. This is partially true. Legs in a wine is linked to the viscosity of wine. Viscosity is how thick and sticky your wine is. Wine is not only water, so it's going to stick to your glass of wine. And viscosity is a factor, is a combination of things that are present in wine. Alcohol is one, sugar is another big, big one as well. Legs are also due to glycerol. Glycerol is a secondary product of the alcoholic fermentation. This is more of a fatty sort of, uh, it's called polyol, so it's more of a fatty molecule that has a bit of a sweet taste. It's absolutely a, pretty much a good thing because it augments the palate and the body texture of the wine. So legs are the combination of alcohol, uh, sugar and glycerol mainly, but the tannins are going to play a bit of a part in it, the acids as well, how clean your glass is going to be. So people that simplify things and tell you that legs are only one thing, they are incorrect. The truth is that it's a little bit more complicated than this. So if you see a wine with loads and loads of leg, well, it is likely to be a relatively high alcohol wine. It is possibly going to be a sweet wine. It is certainly a wine that's got a fair amount of glycerol, but in the end of the day, at the end of the day, the legs aren't gonna tell you all that much about the wine. So it's fine and it's uh, romantic to have a look at the legs of a wine, but factually, scientifically, legs aren't going to tell you all that much about a wine. So this is why wine professionals and wine connoisseurs don't actually pay all that much attention to the legs of a wine. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that I could tell you and that you should know about the legs of your wine. They are a nice feature we love to have them and watch them because they're sort of uh, captivating and they sort of yeah they are intriguing and amusing and they're sort of fascinating a bit like looking at a fireplace you know burn if there's something romantic or like looking at the sea but 
scientifically it's not a super super important factor to consider about your wine i hope you enjoyed today's video stay tuned to the channel if you like this video give it a like it helps me quite a lot producing and making more of these videos sharing my wine knowledge and sharing the passion that we all have here for wine i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine cheers Hey guys, me again. One quick note, while I was editing, just finishing editing this very video, I realized there is a great video here on YouTube explaining, going really deep in the scientific explanation of those legs. They talk about the surface tension and the difference between the surface tensions between the alcohol and the water in our glass of wine. And this is exactly what forms those tears. So everything that I said in the video is still valid because it's the viscosity changes the surface tension. But this video, if you really want to understand and you are a bit of a scientific geek go and check this video one has to acknowledge the great videos and the scientific people that make some great videos that one about wine so i'll link to it at the very end of this video and uh, down in the description as well if you want to go and really learn and understand completely what legs are all about on top of what i've been saying i will see you soon very soon in the wonderful world of wine see ya au revoir